<laughs> what is up everyone? Welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. My name is Jake and today I am going to be diving back into the dark era of my art career. Back before I went to art school, I'm going to find an image that I made back in high school and see what I could recreate using the skills I have learned over this last decade. Now back in high school, I never really did a lot of art. I mean, I doodled all the time, but I never really sat down and created art. So what my goal is today is to find that image from high school since I graduated high school right at the beginning of this last decade and see what I can create. I know these images probably aren't going to be the prettiest things in the world, but first things first, I need to get into the mind of emo high school Jake. All right, so now that I am in the mind of high school Jake, I have this pile of old artwork here. I think a lot of it's actually probably from when I was a freshman in college, but I know there's some earlier work hidden in here as well. So let's start digging and see what I got. All right, so I went through a bunch of my old art, some of it pretty bad, some of it pretty scary, but I think the one that I pulled aside that I really want to work on is this one right here. The Pac-Man ghost working on this Pac-Man crusher thing. It's it's not a horrible drawing, but when you look at it, it's, it's very static, very boring. There's not a whole lot going on. I remember sitting in my homeroom class working on this, and I was really proud of it at the time. But I want to see what I can recreate using the same concept of this drawing with the skills I have now. So let's get going. So to start off this drawing, I took my blue sketch pencil and just sketched a very basic idea of what I wanted to draw. Blocking out the main silhouettes of all four of the ghosts and the giant robot. This way I kind of knew where everything was going to go before I really penciled everything in. Now one thing I really wanted to make sure that was actually in this drawing that wasn't in the original one was the actual robot in the scene. I assume I didn't even attempt it in the old one probably because I was afraid to even try doing it with the skills that I had. Or you can just look at it as it took the ghost 10 years to actually create the Pac-Man Crusher. I think it's crazy when I look at the art from back in the day. I was probably around 17 years old or so when I made this piece and I am starting to near 27 now. And just knowing that I have come this far with my art is just crazy to me. I know I probably spent like a solid hour or so making this piece back in 2010. And that's pretty close to around the same amount of time I spent drawing this piece as well. Practice definitely makes perfect. So I almost want to say that this could actually fit in my video series of video game bosses who get major upgrades. Now I know Pac-Man doesn't really have like a boss, but the ghosts are kind of the only enemies that you run into, so you can kind of look at them as being close enough to being a boss in the game. And if you throw in this mecha ghost into the game as well, you're looking at a boss at that point. You're welcome, Namco. Just remember, you heard it here first, folks. Just in case they decide to make a new Pac-Man game and they throw a mecha boss into it, I, I want just a little credit. So the one thing that always confused me with Pac-Man was the names of the ghosts. You have Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. Where did Clyde come from? Were they just not able to figure out another word that rhymes so the creator was just sitting there like, um, yeah, what was the uh, name of that pizza guy? Clyde? Yeah, sure. All right, yeah, that sounds good to me. I don't know if there is a story behind the name Clyde, if you know the story, please let me know down below, and I mean, if there isn't a story behind it, there definitely should be because it is extremely perplexing to me. So while editing this, I ended up getting a bunch of new people over here from the Jazz's Honorable Mention video that he did at the end of the week. So I just want to welcome all of you guys at once in this video and say thank you for joining me over here. And I hope you guys enjoy the fun content that is going to come in the future. And also, if you're new, don't be afraid to comment in the comment section below. We are all a very happy, supportive community here. And I always love hearing what is on your guys' minds. So again, thank you guys so much for coming on over. And again, thank you, Jazza. So the one thing that I really want you guys to take away from this video, if you love making art, but you feel you aren't very good, you're not at a great level, whatever it is, keep 
drawing. No one is ever amazing when they start out. At age 17, I was struggling to make pieces that were okay and looked like this. But after years of taking my art serious, I have grown so much. And I know if I keep drawing in 10 years, I'm gonna be even better. Getting better at art is just like training your muscles to be stronger. You don't just wake up and you're able to lift 200 pounds easily. No, you have to train your body. With art, it's training your mind and the muscles in your hand as well. It just takes time. So don't ever give up and just keep drawing. But we are getting so close to the end of this drawing. I think it's about time we turn that arcade switch on, bump this up another level, and I'll see you guys at the end with the final results. All right, everyone, that is it. Our completed piece, our 10 year transformation. I really like the way this turned out. It's a lot more dynamic than the original piece, but still keeping the essence and the idea of the original one. Now, remember, if you enjoy making art, keep drawing. I went from one of my best pieces looking like this years ago to casually making pieces like this one. So if you really enjoy it, keep drawing, keep grinding, you'll get better. Now I made a digital version of this drawing as well so I could turn this into a t-shirt. And if you join my One Up Club over at Patreon, you can actually get the quick time-lapse version of me making that, as well as some other goodies like sketchbook drawings as well. So if you wanna support the work that I do, make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is gonna be down in the description. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, make sure you smack that sub button. And like always, keep drawing. And until next time, bye.